I'm Kiana Two Powers, and I'm being deported from Iceland. Almost three years ago, I just came to Iceland as a tourist because it was a hot destination. I came with my cousin, we rented a camper van, and we drove around the entire ring road, and it was awesome. I ended up going back to my job in Boston. I worked in college athletics at the time, and I couldn't stop thinking about Iceland. Like, it just started this fire within me. I was like, I need to be there. I actually ended up just like asking the Icelandic embassy in the US, and I went into the office and just said, hey, I'm trying to move to Iceland. I just love the country so much, and it doesn't seem like there's like an easy way. I must be missing something on the website. Tell me it's not so hard. And the lady just laughed at me and she said, yeah, if you want to move to Iceland, you need to get married to an Icelander. So just no luck there, uh, and I was, I don't know, just so obsessed with Iceland and wanting to move there, I thought maybe it'll just be easier if I'm physically there. So um, I did that. I quit my job, I sold everything I owned, and uh, sold my apartment, and I just booked a one-way trip to Iceland. Then later that day, they called me and they said, hey, so we just heard about this, you know, Trump travel ban in Europe. So let's just see how that plays out and we'll like give you a call next week. And it was March of 2020. I started making Instagram reels and TikToks because um, I was a photographer and uh, and it, they just popped off. Hi guys, Zoom for the Nose Trail is from Skogafoss to Thorsmark. And it's Tell me you've been to Iceland without things in my Icelandic apartment that just make sense. I first got to know about Kiana on reels. Uh, I know Kiana from TikTok originally when I saw her there. And I just, I see the impact that she has. I mean, people literally visit Iceland because of her content. I have this whole series called Real Life in Iceland. And um, yeah, it still is going strong to this day. I, I love it and I think other people do as well. And then the next thing I see, she's this massive influencer. I'm like, what's, what's going on here? How has she just managed to do this? And, you know, people and companies started to come to me. Kiana is uh, one of our key content creators for TikTok. Kiana, as a content creator, she's inspiring tens of thousands of people to come to Iceland. And if she gets deported, it's not just bad for the Icelandic tourism industry, but also for companies like us that are relying on our expertise when it comes to digital media. So yeah, it's amazing how many people uh, Kiana has brought to our restaurant. It's very important that people like Kiana stay in Iceland. She has a great insight into what not only Iceland, but Reykjavik and just the culture here has to offer. Uh, in a way, uh, Kiana and me are both uh, women in the world of men. Like over this time that I've known Kiana, I've just seen how ambitious and hardworking she is. Just in general, amazing person. And in this time, I decided to make a business here in Iceland. So I did all of the paperwork, I handed it in, and then in early March, I got a letter from them saying that my visa was rejected. Uh, just the process was denied, the decision was denied. What would you do if you got kicked out of Iceland? If you got deported? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would have to like start my life over or something because 
I have a whole business here that's so like rooted in Iceland, like everything Iceland. And if I wasn't here, I wouldn't have that anymore. I would just lose everything I've built. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I mean, it's my home, for for starters. Like, it's this crazy feeling when you like get off the plane and walk out of Kaffelvik Airport and you start driving into the city and you just you feel like you're home. It's crazy to feel that way because like I didn't grow up here. I don't have you know young nostalgic memories from my childhood here, but yet I just feel like I'm home. And it's just. It's given me so much growth as a person um, for adventures. Like, it's changed me completely. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It's hard to describe something you haven't felt yet. Um, I don't know, if someone were, you know, at the airport to say I could never come back or um, give me like a ban or something, you know, I don't know. It would be the worst thing probably that I could imagine to happen to me. Kiana really is outstanding. If there was a person designed to live in this country, it would be Kiana. Also, I think it's very funny that like we are supposed to be the Icelandic people, but you are always like teaching us new things about Iceland. That <laughs> yeah. you know. Now, thanks to her videos and Instagram stories, you made me want to travel back to Iceland. I don't think I could have moved to Iceland without the help of Kiana. Kiana has inspired so many people to come and visit Iceland. Iceland simply needs Kiana. She has become a family member and kind of a staff member as well. And even though we are hundreds of thousands of kilometers, miles away from Iceland, she's inspiring thousands of people to come and visit Iceland. And we need more people like her. Yeah, she has to stay. Her Instagram post made me book my trip to Iceland. So I really relied on a lot of Kiana's content. In my process of moving to Iceland, we're really thankful for her. And she is also, you know, skillful. Just such a big inspiration for me. An amazing role model. She's a really knowledgeable content creator. She's just so inspiring uh, and positive. Well, I think it would be a very, very big loss to this country to lose Kiana. So that's my story. And I know you're wondering what's next. Right now, I'm working on appealing the decision, and if you've ever been to Iceland, seen my content, or even been inspired by me, you can help. By sharing this video and signing the petition, you're making a difference. Because without you, I wouldn't be here in the first place. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for all of your support, and for following me and my life at Iceland.